With Subsurface Analyst, cross-sections can be sketched using GIS features. This video will demonstrate how to use the XS2D wizard and related geoprocessing tools to create cross-sections within ArcMap. This map shows an overview of a model area in the Sacramento Valley in California. When I zoom in to the model area, I can see that the map contains a set of wells and cross-sections. Information on hydrostatigraphy is stored in a related table named borehole log. Each row in the table represents an interval along a borehole and is defined by the top elevation, bottom elevation, and hydrogeologic unit ID fields. In addition, there is a layer of surficial outcrops of the hydrogeologic units, a digital elevation model of the terrain in the model area, and a saltwater interface in raster format. To begin, I select the wells that will be used to create the cross section. I'll use the Select by Location tool to select wells within a certain distance of the section line. Next, I activate the XS2D Wizard tool. With the wizard enabled, I select a section line. The wizard then guides me through a number of options that control the properties of the resulting cross-section, such as vertical exaggeration and the spacing of major and minor grid lines. In this case, I'll just use the default values. Notice that a new data frame has been added to the map the cross-section will be edited within this data frame. Before I start sketching, I'll add additional data to the cross-section. In this case, I'll add the outcrops based on the outcrop polygon layer and the DEM using the Transform Polygons to Excess 2D Lines GP tool in the Subsurface Analyst Toolkit. Notice that a line has been created that matches the surficial outcrops of the geologic units. Now I can start sketching the excess 2D panels. The snapping options are set so the panels will automatically snap to the edges of the bore lines. I can use any of the ArcMap editing tools such as the Trace and Autocomplete Polygon. I'll jump ahead to where I have all of the geologic units digitized and demonstrate how to sketch an internal seam. Now I have a complete cross-section with cross-section panels, borehole data, outcrops, and terrain. I can create multiple cross-sections in a single map and add text, images, and any other information to the layout. Here is an example of a map with multiple cross-sections. I can easily add information to the cross-section as it becomes available. I'll now add a saltwater interface to the cross-section using the Transform Raster to Excess 2D line tool available in Subsurface Analyst.
2D cross sections can be transformed to 3D geo sections. I'll use the Transform XS 2D Panel to Geo Section tool in the Subsurface Analyst Toolkit. The resulting 3D fence diagram can be visualized in ArcScene. 